Well, I got my little band of misfits. Clara's on monitors, T-Bone's helping me breach Iraq's fortress, and Jordy... Well, Jordy does what Jordy does. It's time to see what Iraq's been protecting. Pawnee. Uh, my condolences. I'm going inside Rossi Fremont. I need your help. You don't pay me enough. I'm not entering that death trap. You don't have to. I need you behind the scope. Again? Ah, it's more reasonable. Hey, you won't guess where I am. You're absolutely right. I'm watering your plant. Maurice, put him on. <laughs> what? What? Who is this? If you don't talk, you don't leave. Oh no. Come on, please. I got no name. You don't understand. I'm trapped. I can't stop. I can't stop seeing that little girl. She's just... She's just, just looking at me. Shut up. I said, shut up. All right, Weepy, back to your corner. Jesus, Pierce, what did you say to him? You'll meet me there. Rossi Fremont. Of course. I'll be in place. Hi, and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm doing a full review of Watch Dogs. Uh, this is by far my favourite game so far. It's an open world sandbox type of game based in Chicago. You play as a character called Aiden Pierce, who's hell-bent on the revenge uh, for the murder of his little niece. I won't go too far into it, because I don't want to spoil it for you. Uh, I've been playing it now for just a little over a day, and I'm absolutely enjoying this. Uh, this game was announced a while back at E3 and it got a lot of criticism and I want to say that the criticism was total bullshit. This game runs and looks absolutely amazing. The graphics are great, um, the gameplay is crisp and been enjoying the hell out of it. There's absolutely so much to do. There's, like I said, a great story behind this. I'm not going to go too much uh, into the detail, like I said. Uh, apart from the main campaign, it just happens. The progression of the story campaign. Uh, there are a lot of side quests, a lot of side missions, and it is worth every penny that I spent on this game. I fully recommend this game as a must-buy and a five-star rating. It gets my full sale of approval. There's, I can't even wait for the DLC content for this to come out. There's uh, supposed to be some DLC content coming out. Like I said, I've been playing this now for just a little over a day. Uh, hours of fun to be had because this is like an old world of Chicago. You can just drive around and do basically anything you want. Uh, there's, like I said, the, the side mission, side quests, uh, the DLC, eventually when it comes out, it'll be around £20, £30, pound, but I haven't getting it because, hell, hours on end of absolutely great game play along with the DLC which will add more content and more to the, the story core. Uh, just can't go wrong with it. 
Um, I said the gameplay is crisp. Uh, it's all fully interactive, which means you can like hack it. Uh, uh, CCTV cameras, uh, you can hack in computers into uh, media players and stuff, and people's phones, smartphones, and it has by far the best online gameplay the, there's a ton of missions like you can you can uh, look down what people who are playing online it's all immersive so it all happens whilst you play the game uh, you, you, you'll have to hunt down other people online uh, hack into their phones and don't get killed because if you do get hacked, you have to find whoever's hacking you and kill them. Uh, oh, this game is just absolutely amazing. And when the DLC comes out, twenty thirty pound, it'll be worth it. Like I said, I give this game a full five star and full recommendation. And this gameplay looks and runs smoothly. It is an absolute. Bye. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy, and I'll let you just watch the rest of the uh, video. No bed bug this time. I'm going in alone. Seen the layout? I know the room. The rack's in there somewhere, and it won't take him long to realize I'm coming. He knows what I'm after now. This time I leave with everything. Switch. Gotta have an off switch. Where is it? 